Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you're having a lovely day. Today I'd like to highlight a video on Ryan Labs' YouTube channel. Ryan Labs is a technician in our industry that does videos on soldering tools, and he also goes over right to repair legislation in the state of California. And if that didn't sell you on checking out his channel, look at his adorable little kitty cat. If you didn't click subscribe there, if this man does not have more subscribers after I showed you that than I do, then um, you guys just suck. I don't know what to say at this point. Check out his channel. In all seriousness, today's video is going to be on a video that he did on JBC Tools, which I'm going to ask him to change the title on so that it actually shows up in search results. <clears throat> in all seriousness, uh, this is going to be about JBC Tools and something that they've done that I believe is completely unacceptable given the price of their tools. JBC makes soldering equipment that looks similar to the stuff that I have on my desk at work. So this is one of their control units where you could plug in a soldering iron. This this is a hot air station that looks very similar to the hot air station that I use. And I'm just going to wait for you to tell me if you notice any difference between this and the stuff that I use at the store. I'll give you a minute. Okay, it should have taken way less than that. Can you notice what's different about it? It's that this thing is $2,025. My hot air station that I use is $260. This one is $2,025. And Paul would tell you as somebody that uses it on his desk that while the JBC has a little bit of a nicer handle, it's not worth an additional $1,800. And uh, frankly, it's one of these things where what you're buying when you buy a JBC is you're getting the Rolls Royce of soldering stations. This is not like going from a Ford Focus to a Lexus. This is like going from a Ford Focus to a helicopter. You're going from a Ford Focus to a, to a Bentley. They're supposed to be the best in the industry, which is why I think it is disgusting that they've taken part in some really anti-consumer and crappy practices. There were a lot of people during 2020 during the pandemic that were not able to manufacture their devices the way that they used to manufacture their devices. And if they were upfront and honest about that, it's usually something that we were able to accept. However, JBC went the Tesla route here. Remember what Tesla did during the pandemic? When they weren't able to get enough USB-C ports, they didn't tell their customers, mea culpa, these ports are not going to be included in your car. What they did is they just didn't include them and they waited for you to figure out that you bought the car that was advertised as having USB-C ports in it without USB-C ports. And that's exactly what JBC did here. They were selling these stations using old microcontrollers for older stations that did not advertise certain features and functionality. So you get things like not having profiles, not being able to name your station on a station that costs a lot of money. This station over here is damn near $700. It does not come with a soldering iron. It does not come with a holster. It does not come with any of those accessories. Hacko stations don't have these features, but a Hacko station is about $130 cheaper. It comes with an iron. It comes with a little coaster. It comes with the holder for your iron. And it comes with the holder for your tips. And there are many stations that are considerably cheaper than the Hacko that you can buy that are dual port stations where you're not going to get those features, but you're also not going to be lied to at the same time. The reason that people purchase JBC stations is, again, you are buying a Bentley class station. You are buying a Rolls Royce. That is why the JBC hot air station is $2,025 when a station that is able to do all the same stuff the JBC does for my work costs me $260. And that's not even what it costs me. That's what I'm selling it to you for. So the part that is really crappy here is not that they did this. Because again, if they were just upfront and honest and said, listen, this is missing a feature. Very few people use this feature. It would be okay. What JBC decided to do is not announce to their customers until the customers contacted them to complain that this was an issue. And further, Ryan Labs managed to catch them in a lie. They said that there's no missing features and functionality here in a letter that they wrote to Ryan Labs when he contacted them about the missing features where they claimed that this was only going to affect languages, which is something that most people are not going to care about. This is a copy of the letter right over here. During the component shortage, JBC had to manufacture some production batches with a microcontroller with less flash. This change obliged us to take less used functionality such as language. This change never compromised the quality or precision of our tools. So they're saying that, okay, you're not going to, you're not going to be able to have Chinese or Arabic on your display, which again, most people would be fine with, but that's not the truth. You took out the profiles feature. The profiles feature was a feature that was advertised with the station and you didn't tell them. And once you actually did get the chips in stock to be able to offer this Rolls Royce price station with all the features that it was advertised as, you didn't call all your customers. You didn't email all your customers. You didn't put a bulletin on your website that said, if you're missing these features, contact us and we will fix your station. You waited for people to contact you, which again, I'm not saying is the right behavior, but if Atten did that, if Hacko did that, even if Weller did that, I'd understand. I wouldn't give them a pass, but I'd understand. 
because many of those tools are sold at lower profit margins. When you are selling a hot air blower for $2,000, when you are selling the dual port base by itself, no iron, no holster, no tips, no nothing for almost $700, and that's the standard? You're not going to be honest about the features that are missing and the customer has to contact you to figure it out? I think that's kind of crappy. And this changes the way that I view their company. It's, listen, I don't know if that's worth it for you, but they are the best to don't buy from them because they're deceptive in their business practices. I had a recall that I had to do at my company approximately two years ago where I found out that a batch of parts that we were using was less than ideal. And I had a choice that I could make at that point. I could lie about it. I could tell the truth, but only for customers who had issues. Or I could figure out every single customer who received that part call them and email them and tell them you need to bring this to me and I will pay if you're not able to come into the store to ship it both ways express for me to replace this part because it's unsatisfactory. And at our company, we chose to do number three. Eventually, the vendor did take accountability and responsibility and did compensate us for this. However, before the vendor agreed to compensate us a dime, we agreed to do this knowing that it was going to cost our company $20,000 because that was the right thing to do. And I think that JBC should be open to doing that for every customer that bought the station. When we screw up, which we will screw up, and we have screwed up many times in the past, we take accountability and responsibility for it, which is why I'm okay with holding other companies to task when they do the same thing. If you want to sell the most expensive hot air station, if you want to sell the most expensive soldering station in the industry, and if you want to have a Rolls Royce best in class reputation, you bet your ass that if you're going to sell that product missing the features that you advertised it with, that we're going to expect you to put that on your website and not only fix it for the people who email you, and above all, not lie in your emails about what is missing. You are missing a lot more than languages. Profiles are exceptionally important if you are in highly regulated industries, if you're in the aerospace industry or something like that. Again, for my shop, I don't use profiles. And let's be real, 99% of the people watching this channel don't use profiles, which is probably why you didn't pay $2,000 for a JBC station. That's why you have something cheaper. But in the back of our minds, we always kind of had this idea that JBC is the ideal. JBC is something that if I had the infinite money glitch, that I would buy all JBC tools from my shop because they're the best. And if this is the way they're going to treat their customers, that's just not true anymore. And it's really informative and unfortunate to figure out that this is the way that they decided to handle this. And it's just one of those things where I'm no longer going to say JBC is the best but you probably don't need it no JBC is the most expensive they're the most expensive but I would not call them the best let me know what you think in the comments down below and let me know what you think of Ryan Labs' channel again look at that look at how cute it is that is absolutely adorable two thumbs up and you have earned a subscription good sir I'll see you in the next video bye now do you not have a cat that looks as adorable as Mr. Clinton you can have the next best thing, which is a Schematics or Die t-shirt featuring Mr. Clinton the Cat. Or you can get a mouse pad that says Schematics or Die featuring Clinton the Cat. Or you can get a battery pack that says Schematics or Die, support the right to repair with Clinton the Cat. Or you can get a Clinton the Cat microfiber cloth along with Honeywell Uvex cleaning spray that can be used to clean the screen of your phone or your eyeglasses or your laptop computer. Don't delay. Buy today. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something.